Yeah, I have, a, I have a criminology background, and I have youth in conflict with the law, so again, I was all over this one. Um, it was definitely really powerful, especially the part with uh, where they took the actual phone call um, of the kid, sadly, trying to commit suicide, and like, you know, you just have shivers going through your body, so, yeah, during the entire, and after that we were talking, and we felt really connected with the kids by the end, like, it felt like they did a great job in, you know, humanizing them, but you almost, like, you felt for them, and you wanted them to succeed in life, and you're like, you know, I finished off the documentary thinking to myself, like, I really wish them all the best, and you're invested in these characters. Well, these real people, they're not characters, they're actually real people, um, and you just want them to be the best versions of themselves. So, yeah, it's awesome. It's really good. Hats off to them and the filmmakers. These aren't bad people. They're people who did a bad thing that are trying to do the right thing. Uh, my comment's not altogether too different, but um, I was going to say I, I really uh, thought it was amazing how they, they eat a root for these kids even after they tell you what a lot of their crimes are. Uh, so like they, you know, rather than villainize them for what they've done, they, they still like put you on their side and uh, kind of leave you with a little bit of hope at the end where they give you that 50-50 statistic. Like there's a good chance that at least some of these guys are going to go on to do the things they say they want to do which I thought was really nice. And it's also just like staggering. Like, it was really interesting for me. I had no idea that a program like this existed. I had no idea that you could be in prison but be out fighting fires. And like how invested a lot of them get in the work was really interesting. And it sort of instills a lot of good habits, I think, at a, a crucial time to be doing that for kids. So I don't know, I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah, people need purpose. They need, they need to have a cause and they're a skill and they're teaching them that, they're giving them that. And they all had really, really realistic goals. We'll go to you. They want to be business owners, have lives, get their GEDs. It's admirable. I love the idea of the redemption, but I'm going to disagree with what he just said. Half of them end up back in prison. Yeah. So that's like, would you say that at, at the end of, end, of a, end of a wedding? Happy happy yeah. lives. 55 percent of the chance you're going to get divorced. Like it, no one says it's going to be a great first marriage. Somehow, somehow, it just by, by doing that at the end of the film, the suicide victim wound up in prison. Uh, all these guys are still in group homes. They still haven't finished, and half of them are going to are going to end up in prison. You kind of crapped on the positive message of the whole thing in the last two minutes of the film. I think you make a point on that for sure, but there's also a section where they, they're being honest with you. And there's that, that moment where the guy says, I got my first gun when I was nine because my mom needed the money. So if he had right. waited, say, another year to finish the film and, and they're out of the group homes and they're on, then maybe it would have been better. I would have liked it if, you know, that final thing to wrap it up. Because it just seemed, no, it, it's, it was a very positive message, and then at the end, well, half of them are going to end up back in the set. But, um, so. No, you make a point. There, there is that note of reality that really can bring it down and yeah. make it you know, staggeringly true that half of these people that we're rooting for might be back in prison. And it speaks to the society, right? Because they talk about, you know, I grew up on the wrong side of the tracks anyway. This was all around me. I grew up with prison systems. I grew up with prostitution. I grew up with drugs. This is the world I know. This is the world I'm going back to when I get out because I know no other place to go, right? At least that's, that's kind of why I took it. And there's a couple that are going to fight tooth and nail to get out. Yeah. And, those, and those are the ones I'm hoping for. I thought it was beautifully shot. Um, the storytelling was beautiful as well. Um, I think I was almost expecting more of a critique on the prison system itself too, like kind of to be built in a little bit. Um, that's the only place where I kind of, I would have liked to see more, just because it was so beautiful and so well done. Um, I thought that could have taken it a little bit step further, of a step further. And for me, like the bigger problem is really the prison system itself. Um, and like you said, the society that everything's embedded in. Um, so for me, like I would have just liked to explore more of that and critique the prison landscape and why are they, like as much as it is a good program, um, the whole idea of prison labor um, being such a big problem in the States wasn't really addressed at all. So that was interesting. Yeah, there's this one tiny moment where he's like, I'm making a dollar a day versus $12 an hour, right? And that's very jarring when you're like, oh my God, and you're, you're just trying to make ends meet, just trying to pay rent. Uh, first of all, I thought this film was really nice paired with the previous film, because again, showing uh, a hopeful message for people that uh, have the deck, the deck stacked against them in a lot of ways, uh, that are trying very, very hard and honestly uh, to uh, do better. Um, and I think in this film, you know, we see that 
they they fail a few times, um, and the the film uh, does a really good job of being honest with them, and I think it's really important that the number of that uh, that is 50% only a fan because ironically, I think it's actually better than uh, the it's still slightly better than if they weren't in such a program, um, but. Um, in, a, in any case, the film was really beautifully shot, and I think the message was really, really honest, and tracking them over time, uh, the, the very little time that they had with them, uh, I enjoyed seeing that they got out, they got to be with their lives, and just blew me away for the, the fact that these 18-year-olds have gone through so much in their very short lives. You get the sense that through not necessarily any fault of their own ends, maybe sometimes through fault of their own, they had to learn and grow up very quickly. Uh, who got the warm and fuzzies when you see Tyler and Grayson? I did. 